Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. Welcome. Tonight, we're going to explore the deeper some of the things we've been talking about with central equilibrium. And, uh, and it came up actually in a conversation a few days ago, another meeting we had, and uh, some people talked about, you know, what's the best place to start the Taiji form with the heels together with the toes, you know, with the feet parallel. And what I um, want to play with is the idea that it doesn't matter what we can, we can find that Zhong Ding wherever we are. And I want to explore a number of different stances and also the transition between them and really highlight the idea of maintaining, not just maintaining, but being able to find again and again and again, central equilibrium in each of these situations. So just to re review here, the idea of central equilibrium is that there is a sweet spot in your posture where the muscular contractions, the muscular resistance is reduced to a minimum for that moment. And you align yourself with the energies of the earth and the sky in such a way as to be able to plug into the big chi. And when you do that, something happens, magic happens. Then we allow ourselves an, the possibility of opening to effortless power, where if we can take that energy and direct it through the body, which we call jin, then we are able to then um, create very profound effects in, uh, in our, our physical expression. So something very insubstantial, that is your connection with the earth and sky, which is, is as woo-woo as it gets. And we take that very woo-woo thing, that very insubstantial thing, and we use it to create very substantial effects. And these are things that you know I've tested thousands of times with people, and it's uh, a remarkable in its effect, and more even more important than the ability, say, to knock someone over or not be knocked over yourself, which is very helpful for if you're a Taiji player. More important than that is the the fact that you are aligning in such a way as you are amplifying your personal chi, your personal energy. And you are not just amplifying it, but you're constantly restoring, replenishing, cleansing your energy. And you're, it allows you to feel not just intellectually, but actually experientially part of something much, much bigger than you. So the uh, when that happens, then you're, able to access abilities that are not present in our conventional way of, of holding our body. And some of the stuff is counterintuitive. And um, we've covered a lot in these earlier sessions here. And I'll, you know, for the benefit of those who might just be tuning in to these, these sessions, I'll, I'll cover some of the some of the things again, and and speak um, uh, to break, break down some of these things in, in very uh, elemental ways uh, so that you can really tap into that. And it, it benefits each of us to be able to approach this as if it's the first time. I know I do. Anytime I get ready to do, a, a, say, a Tai Chi form, it's the first time. I go in there and I'm looking for that sweet spot as if I've never been there before. And I know it's in there somewhere. And I know that each time I go there, it's different. And not only that, but whenever I shift from one posture to another, it's a brand new moment and I have to find it again. And therein is the fun. It's also the opportunity to create something really quite magical. 
So let's play around with this a little bit. And we're going to explore a number of different stances. And by a stance I refer to, what I'm talking about is, is the way that your feet and legs are, are um, connected with the earth and the, the position they're in. And I differentiate between a stance and a posture because a posture includes the whole body. So the stances are, you know, we're, we're breaking it down quite a bit here and, and saying, okay, I go into this stance and that is, in the stance, there are a number of mysteries that you can uh, explore and can only explore for yourself. You know, you can get an idea that, uh, that there is something more there, but unless you go there, it's, it's just up here. It's, not, it's not, not inside. And we want to be able to get it so that we we're able to do these things instantly. So there, it doesn't have to go through a process of rationally analyzing the situation and breaking it down and creating the, the wheel each time we, we try to go into a posture. We want to have, you know, be able to adopt a stance in a way that, oh, I know this place. And, and the paradox there is even though I know this place, it's brand new. So that's, that's the fun of it.